Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Aeroscale, and welcome to another Cracking the Box, or I should say probably Armorama 2, since there's a vehicle in this kit. Uh, we've got a new Tamiya uh, kit for you today. This is uh, the, uh, I'm probably going to mess up the pronunciations, but the Hayate and Kurogane scenery set. This is a Nakajima Hayate Frank uh, with a Kurogane um, vehicle, I believe is the correct term. Uh, obviously includes some figures, at least they're showing three here. Uh, this is a 148th scale kit, and uh, it is a new tool as far as I'm aware, but I'll, I'll check that just to make sure. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the box. We've got the car itself, which is, you can see in a kind of one piece uh, there with the body here on the side, and then one piece of uh, one um, fret of uh, plastic, and then we've got some clear plastic pieces that are uh, part of the car, I believe, and then maybe the aircraft, so car and aircraft. And then we've got the aircraft bundled again in uh, one bag here with um, just everything uh, in here in one thing. Uh, it looks like maybe three different uh, frets for that one. And then we have the, the grass scenery stuff, which you can see is not exactly high quality. Uh, a lot of us who build uh, or who have built um, bases for aircraft or uh, you know, uh, dioramas, any type of scenario like that, probably would not opt for something so simple. And of course the base itself, which is just a plastic uh, raised uh, base. And then the um, instructions, of course, which look like they're in separate instruction sheets for each kit. Uh, they may release these separately, so I'll, I'll, again, I'll check the, the stamp dates on there to see what, what we're talking about here in terms of year dates and such. And such. Uh, decals for the aircraft, uh, marking guide, actually, maybe I was wrong, oh no, the car is in here as a separate sheet. Um, the uh, very nice uh, side views there, some markings, uh, so two different uh, marking options probably included with this. The vehicle instructions, um, and then a, I believe this is going to be, actually, did I get two of these? Oh, I guess I got two. I got two of these for some reason. Uh, is one the backgrounder information? Hmm, now this has got instructions in it. Oh, this one has instructions. Interesting. So they both they both have instructions. <laughs> Are they different? Yeah, they look like they're the same. I don't know why I don't know why there's both. Maybe maybe one's for one version and one's for the other version. So I guess it could be. Um this one says it's um Nakajima Nakajima KI eighty four. 1A, and this one is Key 84 1A. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a mystery. <laughs> bit of a mystery, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, those happen here. Um, so yeah, that's everything that's in the box. We'll go ahead and break out the plastic and then see what we can uh, see from there. All right, well, uh, I've discovered uh, quite a few things, obviously. Uh, <laughs> first of all, this is a very old aircraft kit, 1972. So not in any way a new tool. And it's visi very visible from the, the moment you kind of look at the sprues. They have a, a very rough, uh, I mean, I can see there's there's flash along these edges. Um, not a lot on the plastic. It's still, I mean, it's still a Tamiya kit. So we're, we're still talking about Tamiya quality, but but older Tamiya quality, not not uh, not new uh, new tool. I guess I probably should have assumed when I saw this was a combo kit that it was an older re-release. Uh, or, a, or a bunching of the two things together. I'm, I'm a bit surprised, to be honest, that Tamiya would release a 1972 kit and not update it in, in any way. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm not going to pass undue criticism on this kit. For all I know, it's very accurate and, uh, you know, still has very nice uh, light panel lines I'm seeing here and, and uh, good detail, like the engine cowling here looks nice. Um, some of the detail looks a little, you know, dated. Um, but but overall, you know, the 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 aircraft kit looks decent. You've got uh, the figures here, um, which look good. But yeah, the decals, even the decals are not at least not updated according to copyright 1972. So same decals, probably just you know done printed now with modern standards, but basically same design. They didn't they didn't update anything. I couldn't actually find um, on the car. Couldn't actually find a date on this, or even the Tamiya production thing normally is here, so I'm not even sure this is an original uh, Tamiya release. But I'm going to assume it again is an older uh, Tamiya kit that um, that they're just you know bunching to putting this together. In fact, I think I found on the plastic 
the uh, the plastic top thing. I found a date of two thousand. This is the one that had two thousand seven. There's a 2007 date on this one. So maybe this is a 2007 release. I'm not sure. Either that or they updated the, the clear in 2007 when they re-released it. So, yeah, not an exciting new uh, release for Tamiya. Um, but obviously, for, for somebody who wants this starter set, uh, you know, it's probably good for younger modelers. I'd say you can you can tell from the, the amount of parts we're seeing here um, that this was this would be a, a pretty easy build for a younger starting modeler or uh, somebody like an intermediate builder, um, and uh, yeah, I mean it uh, it still looks like it's gonna you know go together well and, and not not any uh, serious problems. But uh, but yeah, don't expect modern production standards when you're looking at this plastic. It definitely uh, it definitely is from a, a little bit from yesteryear, a little a little bit mixture. If you're a nostalgia builder, you might if you built this kit maybe in the past. Uh, it might be something to check out as well. So hopefully the pricing will reflect that, and uh, they're not trying to get you know premium dollars for for releasing an older kit. Um, but uh, landing gear um, are pretty basic there. Uh, but yeah, the uh, let me see if I kind of missed anything here in terms of the car. Um, there'll be some more detailed photos of this uh, following my my. Uh, unboxing portion here so if you're not familiar with my reviews they or unboxings that's how they work uh, but yeah i'm seeing nice grill work on the car i mean the car itself looks for a 148 scale looks pretty detailed a lot of nice uh, undercarriage detail with the running gear and such again the figure uh, looks nice he's actually in uh, four parts there um so yeah i mean that the, even the, the body itself of the car um it's very nicely uh, nicely done this, this looks like it might be more of a 2007-ish release. Of course, I don't know, being that there's not the Tamiya stamp on here, maybe they uh, did this through another company. Uh, it's possible. Uh, they work with Italeri a lot, but I don't think Italeri puts out a lot of 148 scale vehicles, so I doubt it was them. Um, all right, well, we'll go ahead and take a look at the photos, and we'll come back and conclude.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the photos and unboxing there of the Hayate and Kurogani scenery set. Uh, sorry for getting anybody excited about a new tool there. I'll probably have uh, amended that text or that ver verbiage uh, with a with a with an over screen text thing, noting that it's not a new tool. Um, but uh, I mean, to me, it's kind of that way lately. I mean, most of the stuff they're putting out is new tool, but they still are re releasing older catalog items. Um, you can hardly blame them. I mean, it's it's just a way to obviously you get more bang for their buck out of these out of these older kits. Um, but I really really wish they would just kind of tell us that right here, you know, like, um, you know, uh, this is a re-release of X kit from this time period, da, 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 because obviously they get people excited. They can't really tell, um, uh, from the box. So, you know, it's a good thing we have the internet now, because otherwise, uh, if you didn't see stuff like this, you'd probably, uh, might be by it and think, oh, well, you know, maybe it's a new tool. Maybe it's a new tool. Oh, darn, it's not, <laughs> you know, you might as well know going into it that it, that it, what it is. So uh, again, I, I will, I will, uh, and this isn't just a criticism of Tamiya. This is this is the entire industry, and, and a, a couple of manufacturers. I actually remembered saying something about this. I don't know a year ago, and uh, wouldn't you know? Like a month later, I don't know if they'd seen my videos or just was a coincidence. But a month later, um, I want to say it was um, might have been Mini Art or, or Masterbox or, or ICM. One of the one of the three there. They had actually added new tool like as a side thing on the box it said new tool so i was like okay yeah <laughs> that works <laughs> so you know i'm not going to claim credit for it but uh, but yeah definitely they did the right thing there so um i hope uh, you, like i said you've enjoyed this if you have any comments suggestions questions please put them below in the comments area whether you're, you're on youtube or our websites and make sure to give it a like if you liked it uh, the video. Uh, and uh, thank, our thanks to Tamiya USA for providing the sample, and it will be available for somebody if they want to do a build uh, project blog, any, anything like that. We'll, you know, we'll be happy to work with somebody uh, for doing more content with it, and uh, we will see you next time on Cracking the Box.